This is the Behind the Line Podcast, and this is Pacific Northwest Headline News in three minutes for Tuesday, April 19th, 2022. Well, if you thought the Washington Long-Term Care Act was going away permanently, I'm sorry to say it is not. There is a support a group of supporters that are sponsoring a ballot initiative that they believe would help bolster the program's assets by allowing program funds to be invested in a diversified portfolio rather than fixed income investments. That initiative will probably eventually pass, is what they're saying, even though it failed in 2020. Democrats are trying to retool the long-term care program and get it back up and running. Unfortunately, the program cap at 36000 and they say uh, in their own words that It's only meant to cover one year of expenses at 20 hours per week. Well, if you go into a long-term care facility and need money, that's not going to cover it. It's going to cover maybe six months. So somebody that's 18 years old and pays into this for their working life, over $100,000, they're only able to access $36,000 of a benefit. You can't take it with you if you move out of state, which many retirees do. Insurance companies already have long-term health care insurance. If you're so inclined to get it, then go get it. There's a lot of people complaining in this article about it, how they could have used that money. If you need it, go get it. The rest of us don't need to pay for your long-term health care. And they're back at it in Portland. I'm sure you've all seen the cop in Michigan that shot the black man in the back of the head, which I, as a former officer, would say is a very questionable shoot. A group of protesters marched through the streets of Northeast Portland Saturday, damaging buildings and lighting a dumpster on fire at the Portland Police Bureau's North Precinct. Why? What did that accomplish? Nothing. This whole thing, this is this going to be the George Floyd incident of 2022? If you want to make changes, you're going to have to do it at the legislative level. And in Stockton, California, a 15-year-old girl was fatally stabbed by an intruder at a high school. The student was killed when a man in his 40s entered Stag High School and stabbed her multiple times. Responders immediately began life-saving measures, but she was pronounced dead at a local hospital. A trespasser entered the front of our school today, stabbed one of our students multiple times, Stockton Unified School District Superintendent John Ramirez Jr. said at a press conference. Unfortunately, she did not make it. The assailant was taken, was detained, and taken into custody immediately. Officials said they do not have a motive for the attack, but said the man was not a parent. How much do you want to bet the man was homeless? Some homeless goon, completely out of his mind, probably strung out on drugs, allowed to walk into a school. Something we see in Seattle. I'm sure it happens in Portland. The West Coast needs to get its act together with this homeless deal. And public safety. This has been Pacific Northwest Headline News in 3 Minutes. For more, visit BehindTheLinePodcast.com. Thanks for listening.